Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, as always, I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I know it's not easy to hear, just sit here and, you know, have somebody talk, your ear off and stuff all the time. But I want to thank you. And as, and as you know, man, I like to give you vital information, information that's going to be beneficial to you, not just right now, but for you in the future. Um, so thank you again for watching. And I pray that you, just, you know, subscribe to the channel. Um, help me out. I really appreciate it. Um, so today, you know, I want to say, uh, everybody's asking me these questions all the time and I feel bad and I thought I had made a video about it, but I guess I didn't. And they were asking me one, like, I'm about to get, you know, interviewed for the radiology program. Like what, what they, what should I expect? What are they going to say? What are they going to ask me? You know, help, you know, uh, they don't say it like that, but <laughs> you know, I exaggerate a little bit, but honestly, man, I'm, I'm here to help you and I'm here to give you um, a few examples that I wrote down that I think they will ask you. Um, and I'm going to try to answer it too. That way you can kind of get an idea how to answer it. And, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out there. You know, hopefully this, it's, it's, it's such a turning point in your career and your life because you work so hard to get those prerequisites out the way you work so hard to get A's and B's and pass all these tests to get even a letter to be interviewed. So this is a vital, vital part, um, that you, you have to get through, you know? So the very first thing I'm going to tell you guys is whenever you get interviewed or you get asked to interview, please, please dress professional. Dress to the fact that, to the point that you're already in the program or dress to, you know, how they say, like, dress to impress. Exactly. Now, you don't have to go all tied down with the suit and all that. Nothing like that. But dress nice. Dress casual. You know, smell decent. Look nice. You know, just wear a watch if you're, if you're a guy. Just something that's going to make you stand out. Like, look, he, he fits the role, you know, because when you, you come professional, man, you're a professional. You know, you're not just a worker. Nothing against anybody out there. And I know how, how I am about anything, but I don't have nothing against Walmart, nothing against McDonald's, nothing like that. You know, we need everybody to work everywhere, right? But you, when, you, when you go through a program and you actually finish your certified tech, you are a professional. You're not just a worker. It's not just a job. It's a career. It's different. You know, so you want to dress to that occasion. You want you want to be different. Now, after you're a tech and you're done, then you dress how you want. But in the end of the day, but to get there, man, you have to you know dress dress the part. You know, so yeah, it's important. So the very first question they might ask you is like, what got you into radiology? You know, what makes you think that you that you even like the radiology department? You know, what makes you get what makes you get into it? And um, that's a hard one because it's like I, me, you know, when I first went to school, I was like, well, it's a more manly job. You know, you just go, you press a big old machine, you know, and you take a picture and, you know, you're done. You know, you're manly. You know, that that's not the right thing to do. But that's what I was thinking, you know, when I was starting. And um, you want to, you know, go around the lines of like, you know, and the most important thing too, guys, if you had a medical experience yourself, tell them. Be like, look, one day I was a patient and they had an x-ray in my hand and I thought it was very interesting. And from that point on, I saw myself as a becoming a radiology technologist and I went for it, you know, and that's why I'm here today. You know, just something short, sweet, simple and, you know, just tell them something that is going to, you know, put you apart from other candidates. Um, so the second one I would say that they probably ask you like, what do you know about the hospital and the clinical environment? Like, a lot of people go in fresh and they don't know, never stepped in a hospital. Probably they're, you know, they never, they don't know what it is, right? So in that part, you have to do a little research before you go in. That's why you're watching this video, right? Be like, okay, what does the hospital do? You know, what what do they, you know, what can I expect to when I work in there? You know, what can I look? There's plenty of videos out there that will show you, you know, what all the little signs say, what is you know the acronyms for this means and just what do you know about it you know um so that's that's kind of tricky one i can't really tell you how to answer that but it'd be like look i know that hospitals have surgeons they have er departments i know they have inpatients that people stay in to get better you know things of that nature um so that's kind of like up in the air type thing but they might ask you that so do a little research on that one um the third one will be um what do you, what would you think would be most rewarding from being a radiology technologist? Like what's rewarding to you? You know, um, 
to me, I'll be honest with you, I love the fact that I can go to a patient's room and be like, look, my name is so-and-so, I'm here to do this. Um, you know, they allow me, you know, the interaction, you know, is it okay if I do a chest x-ray? And, you know, of course they're gonna say yes. Some, some will say no. But 99% of the time they'll be like, yeah, okay. So the satisfaction you get is that you, you know, you, you helping the patient by getting a good image, a good quality image, the radiologist can read it and give the patient a proper diagnosis. That, that, that's, a, that, that's what you get. You get satisfaction of helping people. You know, um, are we in there like nurses all the time? No, we're not. You know, nurses is a whole different ballgame compared to what we do. Um, but at the same time, you know, radiologists and doctors can't do what they can without us. You know, because they can't see it. They can't see through the body. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why they need us. You know what I'm saying? So you get the satisfaction of helping people get better. You know, um, so research that one. Um, the fourth one would probably be like, what makes you think that you're a strong candidate for the program? You know, so what makes you think that you're better than any other uh, of all these other people, your colleagues that are trying to get in? You know, what, what makes you better? What makes you different? And this is a little tricky. This is something you have to think about, you know, like what makes you different from, you know, so-and-so. You know, you can be like, look, you can look at my credentials. You can see how, um, you know, my grade, my grade point average. Uh, you can see that I volunteered at a, um, you know, nursing home or I volunteered at an x-ray or I shadowed at a um, radiology center. Just things like that. Throw yourself out there. Like, do things that other students didn't do or didn't think about doing. You know, um, you have to put your, you have, you have to do different in order to get accepted to be like, okay, this, this kid really wants it. They, you know, this person really wants it. They really want to be in a program. I could see them, you know, becoming successful. So you have to do a little bit out of the box, not just what you do in school, a little bit outside. That way they can be like, oh, he's doing a little extra, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, now, this is a tricky one, and it's hard to answer um, properly, but they're going to ask you, like, what are your weaknesses and strengths? You know, and uh, this is always a tricky one to, to answer, right? Because when they say weaknesses, they don't mean, okay, like, you know, can you lift or, <laughs> you know, no, it sounds crazy, right? But can you lift this thing or, you know, what are your, what are your, um, your weaknesses or your strengths as far as like, what are you good at? You know, so this is a, this is a, um, a tricky one because they're asking you like, as far as your strength, as far as like what makes you different again, you know, your etiquette, um, the way you know that you're dependable, you know, and they're going to ask you like, okay, you say you're dependable, how? Well, I always came, I was in clinic, I was going to class on time. I always stay late because I need extra help or for whatever reason. Um, I haven't missed a class. Um, I do extra credit, extra, extra credit when need be, you know, just little things like that. Um, weaknesses, you know, don't be scared to say you're weak in something because nobody is perfect. So you can be like, look, I really struggled in math or I really struggled in, um, you know, this biology or prerequisite course I had to take, um, mineral, uh, what is it, nutrition or something. Just throw something out there. And that way they know, like, okay, well, he knows his weaknesses, which means that he's going to work at it, which means that he, we know that he's going to put the extra effort because he knows that he lacks it, you know, or she lacks it. So just things like that, you know, it's a tricky question, but they probably would ask you that. Um, and this is a really important one. Uh, the, the last one is going to be, are you good or do you work, work well under pressure? Because trust me, the program is pressure. When you go to clinicals, it's pressure. When you become a technologist, it's pressure. Always, always busy. You always have something to do, multiple things. You have to make sure that you're mentally prepared because sometimes you go on portable runs you five, have five or six portables and you're like oh did i do the right patient you know so you always may have to you have to make sure that you can work under pressure make sure you're doing a correct patient correct side um and you have to be on point man that's it you have to be on point so you have to answer that you know are you good on are you, you think you're good under pressure are you good under pressure like how would you know give me a, a scenario you know how you were good under pressure um now that was kind of stretching it i don't know if they were really asked that or not but it's something to think about. It's something to think about, especially if you're thinking about going to the medical field, man, because the medical field is super stressful. Um, it's not stressful. You're not gonna step in a building and be stressed right away. But 
it is it is a tough job. It's not just coming to work and just pressing a button. It's, it's, it's not that easy. But um, but it's definitely rewarding. It's definitely a good career to get into. And um, yeah, guys, I wish you the best, man. I honestly do. Um, if y'all stay to the end, leave me comments, leave me anything y'all want. You know, let me know what y'all what y'all think. And if y'all need any other help, you already know.